Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talent and confidence. And today we're going to be walking through step by step how you can create a heart two different ways inside the free software Inkscape. Here we are inside of the free software Inkscape. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be creating a heart two different ways. The first way is by using shapes. So we're gonna come over here to this menu over here on the left and we're gonna click that little circle. And then here on our artboard, we're going to draw ourselves a circle. Now, as we are drawing the circle, you want to hold down the control key on your keyboard so that way it stays completely even. Once we have one circle drawn, we're just going to do copy and paste to draw the second one. And that way they are identical. So I just did control C, control V on my keyboard. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of place them close together. And this is going to be the top part of our heart. I'm gonna pull them just a little bit further apart here. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw myself a rectangle. I'm gonna draw two of them actually, but we're gonna get the first one just like we did with the circle. I'm gonna go back over here to my arrow tool so that I can actually adjust the sizing of this rectangle. And when I click it one time, I get arrows that um, make it be able to get bigger or smaller. If I click it again, I can actually rotate the rectangle diagonally. And so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it and just kind of fit it right in there with my circle so it looks very seamless. And then I'm gonna go ahead and extend it just a little bit so it's seamless on both sides. Because I know that these circles are identical, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same rectangle and copy and paste that one as well. Um, when it's selected, I'm gonna click it one more time so then I get the arrows that are able to twist it and I'm gonna twist it this direction just so that I can kind of twist it sideways and then I'm gonna line it up with that circle. So you can kind of see now the top part of our heart really coming together. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select everything. And then I'm gonna go up to path and I'm gonna click on union. So now I no longer have four different shapes here. I now have one object. From here, I need to create the point for the bottom part of my heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the left and I'm gonna click on edit path by nodes. And you'll see there's already a little bitty node right there. I'm just gonna click and drag on that node to kind of bring it down a little bit. So that's going to be the center point of my heart. For all these extra ones, I don't need these. Those are making a really weird heart shape. So I'm gonna draw a box around them and you can see that they're highlighted in blue. And I'm gonna go right up here to this little um, minus button. It says delete selected nodes and I'm gonna delete them. And now I can actually take that bottom corner up just a little bit to kind of realign what does my heart look like. From here, I'm also going to go ahead and delete these two little nodes because I don't really need those as either. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I highlighted both of them. You can see that they're blue and I'm going to click on the little minus. And then from here, I'm gonna move this up just a little bit more. And then I can play with the handles on the end of these nodes to kind of see what I want my heart shape to look like. And that's where the fun really is when you start designing. And so I'm gonna kind of just pull these in a little bit give it some little character right there. Maybe pull this side in a little bit. Don't get too sucked in on manipulating those nodes, but it's a fun way to be able to make your shape look exactly the way that you want. From here, it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on my arrow tool to see is there anything else anywhere I need to adjust. Like right here, it looks like it might be kind of sharp right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my edit path by nodes. I'm gonna click on this node and I don't want this to be sharp. I want it to be smooth. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click right up here where it says make selected nodes smooth. And notice it just kind of softens it up a little bit. And so now when I click on my arrow tool, notice how that goes away. So that's one way that we can create a heart here inside of Inkscape. 
The second way that we can create a heart here inside of Inkscape is by using the pin tool or what's also called the Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. Now, this tool is something that takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but once you have it down, it's a whole lot of fun to be able to play and design with. So I'm going to go ahead and select that over here on the left-hand side. I want to make sure that the mode of my tool is right there on regular Bezier paths because I want to be able to have complete control over where I am creating curves and straight lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one time on my artboard, and that gives me a point or a node there in the middle. And now I have a line going out. From here, I'm going to click again and hold down and draw out these handles from either side. So my mouse is still being held down. When I have the curve of that first arch of my heart that I like, I'm gonna let go of my click and you'll see it turns to green. And then I can move around my mouse and I'm ready for the next one. And so I'm gonna kinda angle it down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click one time. And that gives me that first edge of that heart. Now, from here, I have a couple different options of what I wanna do. I could absolutely copy and paste this and flip it over so that I mirror it and it's an exact replica on both sides. Or I can continue to finish drawing it and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm gonna bring this corner up here and I'm going to click, drag it out so that it has a little bit of an arch to get rid of a curve and then let go and then bring it down here to the middle. And I wanna make sure when it overlaps, it's red. And that way I know those two points are connecting and then I'm gonna click with my mouse. And when I click with my mouse, you can see it's now become one shape. If there's anything that I wanna adjust, I can go over here to the left-hand side where it says edit path by nodes. And I can go in here and I can click on the node and I can move the handles around. So if I wanna make this a little fatter or if I wanna click this and click on hold it and drag it out and then again, move the handles around. And then if I wanna move this middle point, click hold and drag, I can do that as well. And now I've got my second heart here. And again, you could also always just copy and paste that first side if you want it to be identical, but I think it gives it a little bit of character when it's not totally identical with the other side. And so there we go. We've got two different ways that we can create hearts here inside of the free software Inkscape. One way we were able to use shapes to unite them together and have it become one element. And on this one, we were able to use the Bezier tool to click, drag, and move those handles around to create a really cool looking heart shape. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and make sure to come connect with us over inside our free Facebook community. I would love to see what you are creating. Okay, until next time, I encourage you, stop just collecting and start actually creating. And remember, there's no wrong way to craft. I'll see you back next time. Bye.